Deep Rock Galactic has a bunch of items that you cannot unlock because they were tied to specific events. Some of them are restarted every year, but not all of them. If you miss those, you can still get items with different ways. One of them is editing the save file. First, some explanation for this method. You'll be swapping items. Lose one already unlocked and gain the one you want. The item you lose is not removed from the game completely. You can get it back. Second, I will focus on limited items. If you want to unlock something different, you will need to do it yourself. It's not that hard. All the items are unlocked as of today. If you open version TXT file in the archive, you can check the version of the game and date when I updated everything. If item you want is not present, that means I did not update the files, you can do it yourself, I will talk about it later, or item is not limited at all. For example, Scale Brigade is a headwear, armor and paint job. All these items are unlocked with an assignment when you reach level 100. There's a stream suit, headwear and armor. This is DLC. It's awarded by developers to content makers as a reward for promoting the game. To start unlocking the items, you need to download the archive from the description of this video and open it. Inside, there is a folder that contains already edited saves, 0 and 100% progress. You can use them if you want, but you will obviously lose your own. In 0% save, all limited items are unlocked, but all upgrades, currency and statistic are reset. It's a clean start with limited items. 100% save contains my own progression from the moment the game was released till now. If you want to keep your progress and unlock items, open the file called hex values. This is Excel sheet with information you need. Every cosmetic is stored in specific group. Vanity items contains headwear, armor, paint job, skin color and so on. Except victory moves. They have their own separate group. There is a group that contains all pickaxe parts, front blade, head, handle and other parts. There is a group for Bosco's framework and paint job. All these groups are listed in the file you opened. Because I focus on limited items, I will show you how to get cosmetics in these green groups. First, let's unlock cosmetics in vanity items. Select vanity items sheet and look at the item with the red background. This is the item I suggest for swapping. That means you need to get a clean shave cosmetic first. You can see in this column that you can buy it in the shop. Notice the type of the item is headwear. There are several items with the name clean shave. Headwear, sideburns, moustache and beard. We need headwear specifically, others don't matter. So start the game, open the shop, buy it for each class and make sure to not equip it. After that, remove notification for new items. Just hover above them with a the mouse. If you bought this item before, probably you did, unequip it from every slot, do it for each class. Then you can close the game. Next, you need to open Game's Save folder, open Steam, right-click on the game and select Properties. In Open Window select Installed Files, then Browse. After that, FSD, Saved, Save Games. All files with the numbers at the beginning are your saves. Make a backup copy, in case you will do something wrong, you can restore your progress. The one named Underscore Player should be the most recent file. Then delete other saves, we need only one. It will force the game to load that specific save. Be advised that every time you start the game, new save files will be created. Remember, you need to keep only one. There is also one thing. You may want to disable Steam Cloud as it will try to download old save files when you launch the game. To edit the save, you will need a tool for hex editing. I will use HXD as it is free and easy to get. Drag your save file into the program. Open Excel and copy GUID for a clean shave. Then in HXD click on Search, then Find. 
In Open Window, Text String tab will be selected. It is used for finding text, but we need to find a hex value. Select Hex Value and paste Copy GUID. Then select All for Search Direction and press Search All button. At the bottom, program will display all found instances. You should have four because Vanity Items group has subgroups for Driller, Engineer, Gunner and Scout. The order in the save file should be different – Gunner, Driller, Engineer, Scout. But you can check it yourself if you want. If there's more than four instances, you didn't remove notification or item you are searching for is equipped. Currently, last instance is automatically selected. Double click on first one. After that, in Excel, copy the hex value for item you want. Limited items have green background. In HXD, value is highlighted in the middle column. You need to highlight it again. Notice that value starts and ends in the same spot. Paste the copied hex value, numbers and letters will become red and you should not receive any messages. This will swap item for a gunner. You need to do the same for other classes. Select the second instance, highlight the value, paste. This is Driller, Engineer, and Scout. When you're done rewriting the values, click on File, Save, Right-click on the file name and select Close to let the game load the file without a problem. In the Save folder, back file will be created. You can delete it. Now you can start the game. If it's stuck on loading screen, you did something wrong. If the game loaded, open the wardrobe and check the item. A clean shave that you lost in the process will be available in the shop again. But how do you unlock armor? Like I said, because headwear, armor, paint job, skin color and other vanity items are in the same group, you can swap them with each other no problem. Remember, victory moves are not included. So for armor, you will use the same item, a clean shape headwear and the process will be absolutely the same. Be careful if you want to unlock other items, because they might be class specific. For example, Paint Job Splattered has different hex values for Driller, Engineer, Gunner and Scout. You will need to overwrite a clean shave with a correct value for a correct class. To unlock Pickaxe Parts in Excel, select Pickaxe Parts. You can see that there are way more items for swapping. This is because you cannot buy them in the shop. You need to find them in lost packs and it takes time. So I added multiple items. If you want, you can use other parts, but don't use those that come from assignment. If you lose an assignment item, you will not get a new set of missions and you will not get the item back. Don't do this. The process for safe editing is the same. First, get the item, remove notification, and if you already have it, unequip it. Delete unnecessary save files and put one in the program. Then copy GUID for the part you have and search for it in hex values. There should be only one instance because pickaxe parts don't have any subgroups. If you have more than one, you didn't remove notification or did not unequip the item. Make sure first instance is selected, then copy the value for item you want. Again, because they are all in the same pickaxe group, you can use handle, head, front blade or any other pickaxe part. In HXD, select highlighted value and paste the one you copied. New value will become red without a message. Then save the file, close it and check the game. Notice that first Chivax back blade has the hex value, but second one doesn't. This is because front blade and second back blade are actually the same item. Once you unlock the front blade, back blade will be automatically added into its section. To unlock Bosco Cosmetics, select Bosco Excel Sheet. The item you need is obtained by unlocking upgrades for the drone. 
This is the best way because if you lose it, it will be automatically added back as soon as you start the game. The process for unlocking is the same, you should get one instance. When you unlocked everything you want, you should be good to go. But there is a little thing, you bought a clean shape and buying something in the shop goes into statistics. That number is increased for you when it shouldn't. It may not be a problem, season items that you missed go into the shop, people will have different numbers naturally. If you still want to fix it, here's how. Open statistics excel sheet and copy GUID for accessory items purchased, then search for hex value in HXD. You should get 4 instances for each class. The order may be different. For me, it's Engineer, Gunner, Driller, Scout. Double click on first instance. Now here you need to be careful. There will be some words. You can select each one in the right column and it will show their size in the middle. Between float property and none should be a hex value that ends with 0, 5. That's what we need. 0, 5 is some sort of indicator for the game which shows that hex value ended. You need to copy 4 blocks before it. What is this hex value? Well, first of all, rearrange it backwards by blocks. I don't know much about hex editing, I guess it's something called IEEE 754 float point number. It's still written in hexademical. You can use an online app to convert it to decimal equivalent. Then reduce the number by the amount of time you bought a clean shave. Let's say for me it will be 14. Then you need to repeat conversion process. First float point number. Then rearrange it backwards by blocks. You can overwrite original value with it now. But remember that 05 must be at the end and you should not touch it. What if the item you want to unlock is not present in the list I shared? To find hex value, you will need to have a safe with that item already unlocked. And to have unlocked item, you need to know the value. This is where other methods of unlocking items can be useful. Obviously, you can ask someone to share the save file. This is why I shared mine. There's also in-game console commands or an app to restart events that happen in this update. I have other videos explaining how to do this if you want. When you got the save with unlocked item in it, first delete all unnecessary files. Then put the save file you acquired into the folder. Copy your original save name, delete the old file and rename you using the name you copied. Now you can start the game. You need to make two save files and compare them. The difference should be the item you will equip. The problem is, game stores a lot of information. How much time you spend in game, how much currency you have and so on. Thus, you would want to make these saves with minimal time between. Let's assume I want to unlock waster framework for this gun. Currently, no framework is selected, so I will select random one. I want to do this because stock items may not exist in the save file. It will be hard to compare. Then I need to force the game to make a save. All you need to do is spend some money. Without closing the game, make a copy of underscore player file and name it number one. Go back to gun and select framework you want to find. This will be wasted for me. Again, spend some money, make a copy of updated file and rename it to number 2. You can close the game now. Put files 1 and 2 into HXD. Press Analysis, Data Comparison and Compare. In open window press OK button. Then maximize one of the windows and select number 2. Program will highlight first difference. If you look at the right column, you can see some keywords. Float property, value, GUID, struct property and mission start ID. This should be statistic for how much you tip the bartender. 
Press F6 to move to next difference. There are a few words again. GUID, Struck Property and Equipped Skins. This must be the gun framework we equipped. Its hex value starts with highlighted number and should end at the same column. This should be the item I wanted. Copy the hex value and paste it somewhere. It will have spaces between, it's not a problem. You can use it like this, but I prefer to remove them. Now you can add this value into your original save. 